you saw we covered this the other day. So Joe Biden is hiking Medicare prices, funneling people into private plans. He's wrecking a Medicare. He's making it worse. He's doing what we would consider. We always think right wing Republicans would do. He's doing it. He, he's did it. In, he said it in a whisper in that video. He yeah, showed. that's right. We yeah. got it. We got to do it. It's the only way. It's the only way. And he's gleeful while he says yeah. that. And he's gleeful while he does it. So David Sirota, friend of the show, uh, he tweeted out, why did Susan Sarandon do this? Now, that was that's a very funny joke. But here's what I said about it. Oh, David Sirota, strong tweet. <laughs> David Sirota, strong tweet. He says, why did Susan Sarandon do this? You see, he's making it's a good joke. But then David Sirota is going to tell you to go vote for this motherfucker. Right. David. So this is this is a guy who's a schizophrenic at best and just a bullshitter at worst because he's going to tell you to vote for this guy. He's already doing it. So we laughed at it. We said that's a good joke. And then the part that uh, rankled me was that he's going to tell you to vote for that guy. And, and you, and it's like, so it's almost like I, I, I was outraged as a comedian. It's like, you can't do good comedy and then go back on it. <laughs> you know, it's like... Uh, you shouldn't be allowed to make that joke and let you should have to put in parentheses, although I'm going to tell people to vote for him, <laughs> you know? So that's, and so I went on and it, and it really, it kind, of, it kind of caught me by surprise. It got me worked up and I got into a little bit of a rant. Well, why do I tell you this? Because the DC bureau chief for the in intercept, the intercept, you know, the ones that suppress information for the democratic party are owned by a billionaire and kicked their founder out of the organization. Cause they wanted to censor, uh, that, that intercept, and so Ryan Grimm, who's the D.C. Bureau Inner Chief who ran, who lied about forced the vote and ran interference, he tweeted this out. So somebody, so he tweeted out a clipped version. Listen to what he says. He goes, what's perhaps most incredible about this Jimmy Dore video? Could you, first of all, can you believe that the D.C. Bureau Chief for The Intercept, who not only is the D.C. Bureau Chief for The Intercept, but also is a host on The Hill Rising owned by a billionaire and also is associated with the young Turks owned by a billionaire. And so, and then over at the intercept, it's also owned by, so he takes a check from three different billionaires, three different billionaires. And yet he's got time to worry about a freaking YouTube guy, me, a guy who they say this is a joke and an idiot. Why do they pay attention to me? I have no idea. I think they do pay extra for that though. Pay extra for what? <laughs> You to go at a YouTube guy. Yeah. Oh, to go, oh they, they get paid yeah. extra for going. You probably get a better check if you go after YouTube. You're people. probably right. So he tweets this out. He says, "What's perhaps most incredible about this Jimmy Dore video is that he clear he clearly <laughs> this, is, this is his reporting." Now the video he's showing is that the one you just showed? No, no, no. I'll okay. show you. I'll sh so the video. So he they clipped out the part I just showed you. He clipped out. And then he showed the part of me ranting about David Sirota telling people to vote Democrat. And he pretended I didn't get the vote, the joke. He goes, uh, Jimmy Dore clearly <laughs> misunderstood Sirota's joke. No, we didn't. We like the joke. <laughs> we make that joke here at our own show all the time. <laughs> we like that joke. Uh, but it's nice to know that the D.C. Bureau Chief of The Intercept took time out from combing his toupee to peruse my comedy. <laughs> He's going to become now a comedy critic. And boy, does it boomerang. I think so, it's because the hair attacks. I and, and I would like to apologize, Ryan Grimm. I really got that going. So I apologize to him for <laughs> punching up at his hair, basically. So here's, let me get through this goddamn tweet already. It says, <laughs> what's perhaps most incredible about this Jimmy Dore video is that he clearly misunderstood Sirota's joke. It's an article critical of Biden's Medicare premium hike. And he writes, why did Susan Sarandon do this? He thinks Sirota is attacking Sarandon. Uh, and then right underneath, uh, Misha McCourtney Paulin says, what's perhaps most incredible about this Ryan Grimm tweet is that he clearly omitted the part where the room is filled with laughter and the Jimmy Dore says, it's a good joke. You know the part I showed you. Oh, that's the part he didn't show you. So, that's the part he didn't. So he's he's tweeting out a clipped video of me that takes out the relevant part, and then 
He's inferring. I don't know how he inferred. It's a long clip he tweeted out. It's like two and a half minutes. I'm not going to play it. But it's just me ranting about how I'm upset at <laughs> for sheep herding people in the Democratic Party. And you probably get into it, but did he edit it where somebody else did it? No, he... I'll get it. I'll get into okay. it. I'll get into it. So he tweet he tweeted this. So he tweeted out this video that clipped that part. And and he says all this. He's pretending like I didn't get the joke. The joke is actually you pretending to be separate from the Democratic Party. That's <laughs> actually the joke. Uh, and so let's keep going. If he needs the joke explained, that's what he says. Hey, I don't need David Sirota's joke explained. You know what I do need explained? What the fuck Don't Look Up was about. <laughs> the most muddled, faulty analogy in a supposed biting satire. I would like that explained. Because that's the movie David Sirota helped write. I had to look it up, Jimmy. It could have been about an actual meteor, about vaccine. There's no telling. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, it got nominated for an Oscar, so it was a great movie. Um, and props to him. He's a great writer. If he needs the joke explained, the point is that Dems blame things on Sarandon, or he's, he's literally blame. He's going to explain. Are you kidding? This is what he's doing? He's going to explain the joke? Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. He says that the point is that Dems blame things on Sarandon or other critics, even when they are fully responsible, start to finish for a political decision, like needlessly hiking Medicare in an election year. Then he rants about his wife being a Democrat. Uh, you do it. Uh, so uh, uh, I, I talked about David Sroda's wife as an elected Democrat. She's she's actually a, she's actually a public official. She's an elected Democrat, not just a Democrat. She's an elected Democrat. She's a politician. She's not just a Democrat. So and uh, anyway, so there you go. Uh, Even pick up on that. <laughs> so he's too, I, he, wow. Yeah. Right, check, make sure. Here's Emily. I think she's a... No, she is. I looked it up, but I didn't realize, because I just knew she was an elected official, that it, I didn't even read that he left out elected Democrat. He leaves out elected, and he just put... So, all the, first yeah. of all, he does a whole thread about me based on a lie. Based on a lie that I didn't get the joke. I said it was a great joke, and we all laughed about it. We've made that same joke here a million times. <laughs> we get the joke. <laughs> Toupee, we get it. Emily Sirota is a member of the Colorado House of Representatives from the 9th District in the city and county of Denver. Oh, She's an go. elected official. Good for her. And she also did a corporate Democrat, too. So, you know, I'm sure when push comes to shove, she'll be much better than the Justice Democrat. Um, anyway, so then he leaves out elected, an elected official Democrat, Democratic that politician. He leaves that. So he's, again, you see who he is. And that's why Ryan Grimm can't stand me. Because if I wasn't here to, to show you and to call him on all his disingenuous bullshit, uh, no one else would. Everyone pretends like he's Mr. Cool, and he's not. And that's why I'm here, and I'm to the left of him, and I'm pointing out that he runs interference for politicians, which, like he did around Force to Vote, and lies about people, and he smears podcasters. He would have, he's going after Ryan Knight. He's come after me many, many, many times. He goes after fucking podcasters. He Imagine if he went after the powerful with the same kind of vigor as he goes after podcasters <laughs> and YouTubers. Imagine, <laughs> imagine. But that would take actual spine. That would take an actual nose for the news and things like that. Uh he goes, another, there's another tweet. He didn't stop. He keeps tweeting about me. He goes, the entire video is based on an article. Well, how do you know? He didn't want, but he didn't watch the video. And if he did, which I think he did, and then he clipped, he didn't, he didn't mind it. He didn't mind that that was clipped. The part about me saying, uh, so he must have watched. I'm sure he wouldn't he tweet about it. a whole thing without watching it. What? He? he says, the entire <laughs> video is based on an article Lever News wrote, which Jimmy likes, but he doesn't like the joke. We love the joke. You clipped the part. You pu you've tweeted out a video that clipped the part where I said uh, it was a great joke. And then you you linked to the, which I appreciate. I appreciate he linked to the whole video. That's nice. This is actually a thank you to Ryan that, Grimm. That's, video. It's the least you could do. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and um, so, 
And let me just show you this. Let me show you this. Sure. When he tweeted this out, pretending that I didn't get the joke, it got almost 2,000 likes, which is proof of that saying that a lie makes its way around the world before the truth gets its pants on in the morning. <laughs> That's what exactly that is. 1,900 times. <laughs> and he didn't take this tweet down, and it's still up, even though he knows it's based on a clipped video. Right. He knows this now, and he still keeps this up. Why? Because it bothers him that Jimmy Dore points out that he's a disingenuous corporatist who gets a guy getting paid by three different billionaires and he runs interference for uh, Democrats whenever there's a groundswell or a grassroots action. He shit on the Medicare for all marchers. It's called he, access, Jimmy. That's right. And he gets he access. Does good from the inside. And him <laughs> and the people at the intercept do it, run interference for the Democratic Party. And he specifically runs that interference for the squad. That's what his role is. And so he can't stand that I exist. And so he tries to discredit me. But as Rick Overton points out, every time he throws a punch at me, it's like a boomerang and it lands right in his face. Like this did. So for him and by the way, Dave Sirota, instead of making the Susan Strandon joke we all enjoy and get, um, why don't you trash the squad who didn't push for the Medicare for all vote and now they're gonna privatize it? <laughs> right. Like He's they not... dropped the ball on that big time. You should have some jokes for you, the people that you were like, be nice <laughs> to them. Because then otherwise they're gonna Yeah, not remember Medicare. Yeah, remember Brian Grimm was telling us we gotta be nicer to people like AOC, Pramila J and Paul. Then what did they do? They went on and endorsed the corporate Democrat over Nina Turner. They did nothing. He's not angry at them. He's not doing a Twitter thread about them. He's doing a Twitter thread about a lefty YouTuber who exposes his bullshit. And so he says the entire video is based on an article Lever News wrote, which Jimmy likes, but he doesn't like the joke. No, the joke is fine. You know we like the joke. I had an issue with David Sirota making it like... if if I got a problem with David Sirota making that joke. That's my problem. Not with the joke. It's like if OJ tw uh, tweeted out, I sure hope they find the real killers, LOL. It's a great bit, but he shouldn't make it. That's right. It's a great bit. But David Sirota shouldn't be making it. Uh, <laughs> another tweet. He does another tweet. It's nothing but one long lie. And here it is. Also, not that it deserves a response, but Emily Sirota beat a corporate Democrat with establishment support to win a state house seat in Colorado in 2018. To claim somebody did that to get rich is just too absurd to contemplate. Uh, wait, I don't understand. So he, she beat a corporate Dem. Oh, the corporate Dem had establishment support. Yeah, is what he's saying. That's right. So yeah. at least he's clearing up that she's elected by this tweet in the series. And so I don't know what he means by I, I don't <laughs> I don't think anybody. I don't think she did that as a to get rich. I think she's already rich because her husband makes a lot of money. Yeah, he made a hundred and fifty stone. Yeah, <laughs> he made one hundred and fifty thousand dollars off of uh, the Bernie Sanders campaign alone. Uh, let alone what he makes off all of his other writing and his Academy Award winning movie. Fucking guy's loaded. So, which is great. I applaud him. I agree, and I like his work. By the way, I got no problem. I think that's why I used his article in that segment. I like his, I like his work. But it's also my job here to point out that the schizophrenia of people like that, and the schizophrenia of the left, and how they say one thing and do the other. Well, you can't still go to prom and just be all the way with your principles. You know how you're going to get invited to the big dance with that's your right. dress with tax of rich on it and shit like that. That's right. You got to go to the Met Gala with Tax the Rich. And then, yeah. But if I, again, so it was because I did force the vote. And then people like David Sroder, Ryan Grimm, the Young Turk, anybody, they were a MSNBC contract. They were against it because I was for it. So that's the commitment those people have to Medicare for all and holding politicians of, uh, accountable. If Jimmy Dore is involved, they're going to totally not do anything. So I then corrected him like a whole day later. I didn't, I didn't want to go on Twitter. Uh, because it, it when you go on Twitter, it ruins your day. <laughs> it's just, it's not good. <laughs> so people told me that he did this. So I went, I had to go on Twitter and I had to go see it. People tweeted it, texted it to me. And so I finally, I responded to it, I think the next day. So I come in and I go, uh, dis J there he is. He deceptively edited my video and does entire thread based on a lie that I didn't get a joke. Below is the part he clipped. And, and then I could just play it for you. Oh, David Sroda, strong tweet. 
David Sirota, <laughs> strong tweet. He says, why did Susan Sarada do this? You see, he's making it's a good joke. So there it is. We all laugh. I say it's a good joke. Uh, and then Ryan Grimm, another tweet. He says, this is this is a clip of one, one of your fans posted. I didn't edit anything. Can you explain your point? And then he gets ratioed in his own thread. <laughs> he gets ratioed because that what my point is that you clip the part. You know, my I, ask a I mean, the way he's writing this, it sounds like you guys have been in a troubled marriage for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how the arguments are like, you know, the porn I was making. Bitch. <laughs> Oh my God. So Caitlin Johnstone responds and says, Are you seriously going to pretend you don't understand that you made objectively false claims throughout this thread? The whole thread based on lies. The whole thread. Why, why would he need it explained at all? Why would I need to explain? My point is, you're lying. <laughs> go ahead. I'm sorry. Or he Kurt. could go, he could go, Oh, I was mistaken. I didn't see. You could easily get out of it. He, he could have got out, out of it. Right it. Said, I'm yeah. sorry. I, I didn't. He, but he, but. But he doesn't have integrity. So in what your flex is and what my flex is, Kurt, is that I would do that. If I made a mistake right. like that, I would acknowledge my mistake. I've made mistakes before. The thing the it's not if you make mistakes, it's how you handle the mistakes you make. And Janet that's Janet Yellen can admit when she makes mistakes. Janet Yellen can admit when she made a mistake. <laughs> but Ryan Grimm can't. And that's what that that shows you that shows you uh his abundant lack of character that's what that shows you that he doesn't actually have character that's okay I, i'm not married to him uh and so and the, again she put she he gets ratioed in his own tweet in his own thread a, a thread about hating jimmy Dore. Do you know how popular those threads are on twitter do you know how easy it is to get a couple of thousand likes on a tweet hating jimmy Dore on twitter very easy he gets ratioed in it, though. Even doing that, even with his own shit lib fucking followers who hate Jimmy Dore, Democratic Party defenders still ratioed him. And then, of course, Kaylin Johnstone ratioed him right there, right underneath him, crushed him. And so in his own thread, by the way, this isn't on my page. Uh, so. Let me see. I have a joke here. Let's see if. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. but it was wrong. It's all right. It's all right. I got it. Yeah. So uh, he again, again. Oh, there it is. There, there it is. This is the clip one of your fans posted. I didn't edit anything. Can you explain your point? And so here's here's another explanation. If Caitlin Johnstone's wasn't good enough for you, here's another one. You wrote a whole thread that turns out to be a lie based on a clip that was edited by some random person, then posted on Twitter. How can you possibly call yourself a journalist? Dor doesn't need to explain anything to you, but you have a lot to explain about spreading a lie. Nicely said. Nicely said. Living in environmental and U.S. empire end times. Caitlin Johnstone tweets it out again. She says, this is an extremely obnoxious smear by Grimm. The clip he's sharing cuts out multiple instances in which Dor makes it clear he gets the joke and Grimm uses it as a cheap, her, her, Jimmy's too dumb to understand comedy, dunk for shit libs to retweet and cackle at. That's what, that's exactly right. But her tweet did very well. Those hair attacks. I apologize yeah. to Ryan Grimm. She goes on, she says, Get Grimm either knew about those other bits and knowingly framed the clip in a dishonest way, or some sleaze in Grimm's group chat shared the edited clip with comments that Grimm mindlessly regurgitated without bothering to fact check because he hates Dor. Either way, pretty gross. Yep. Uh... He would. He tweets again. <laughs> I wish I had that clip. <laughs> again, again. Now keep in mind. I just a day later. I responded once to point out that he lied, and he's just going me melting down again. Again, he takes time out of his busy, busy three billionaire check life. You think a guy getting a check from three different billionaires would be a little more busy? Don't you think? But I think, I think he gets paid at the intercept. Not to, he doesn't write much, but he uh, does get. Well, go ahead. 
I think he'd be doing something more important, important like policing Dave Weigel tweets. <laughs> <laughs> Should you be policing Dave Weigel tweets? <laughs> so he does it again. He goes, Jimmy says he actually did understand it was a joke, but that Sirota was making the joke in an effort to trick people into being Democrats. And so is not entitled to make the joke a supporter of his book. He, j- he won't. I don't just say you're sorry. <laughs> just say you're sorry and you got it wrong and you wanted to dunk on Jimmy Dore and you got tricked by a venue and it was a Saturday so you didn't bother to fucking look at the video to see if it was actually clipped or if it actually meant what you thought it said and you were just lazy and you hated Jimmy Dore and it was just too good to pass up just say that uh, no he goes on he's not stopping he goes I'll add that knowing it's a joke, and actually getting the joke are two very different things. Oh. Oh. He said into a mirror with the word joke written on his forehead. You're the joke in this scenario, Ryan. That's the part you don't get. You're the punchline. And you'll always be a punchline since you tried to use a football analogy with <laughs> Justin Jackson <laughs> to defend politicians over force the vote. You will always be a punchline. And it's not this, just your hair. That's just fun. Is this just is this like his fourth quarter part of the analogy? This, this is this his <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll add that knowing it's a joke and actually getting the joke are two very different things. No evidence here he gets the joke. He won't stop. Wow. Much like knowingly and in and inadvertently spreading misinformation. <laughs> right. <laughs> Still not apologizing to his followers that, that hey, that was a clip clip and it blah, blah, blah. Not no, it's just keeps trying to make it. This is very TYT of him. Yeah, this is like right. this is very TYT's when they smeared Julian Assange and tried to say it was real when they uh, when they said Aaron Maté was working for the Russians and paid by Assad and they had no bit. It just keeps they just keep saying it. that's what he's doing. He just keeps saying it. So he just keeps doubling down instead of just saying, of course, Aaron Mate wasn't paid by the Russians and we have no evidence. And of course, that's just us being upset. And so he should have did the same thing. Of course, I'm just upset at Jimmy and I want to find a way to make him wrong. But I messed up on this time. Uh, Enjoy your Saturday. That's what he should have did. Is his next week going to be you sexually harassed me? (laughs) He's good. I did. I did. I tried to I tried to get that guy. Nice news hair. That's what I said. Nice news hair. And it was obviously degrading in front of his students. <laughs> <laughs> so it the, giant, the the joke was to pretend he didn't chill for the Democrats when it counted. And now that progressive Democrats turned out to be a bigger scam than an email from a Nigerian prince, he wants to now he wants to go Democrats, am I right? So you don't get to play both sides. That's what I'm saying. That's the thing. That's the problem. Underneath, he keeps going. And then underneath, he says, correct the record, Jimmy Dore. You say you knew he was joking. (laughs) I believe you if you say so. But what was his joke? And why did his joke make you so angry? What the fuck? So (laughs) Caitlin says that. (laughs) Caitlin Johnson says, what the actual fuck? Here it is again. What the actual fuck? Underneath, in politics, there's an expression. The cover-up is always worse than the crime. So this is Ryan Grimm's cover-up. That's why he keeps tweeting feverishly to try to get to distract, make it change the subject, move the goalposts, find a way to make Jimmy Dore still wrong. But he can't do it. And everyone sees through him. This This is like, look, I pointed out that Ryan Grimm's exactly like the politicians he covers. He's a liar. He's a climber. He's a careerist. He doesn't mind smearing people uh, to get ahead to fu- whatever it is. And it really these is people see it. So now entire, he's, what's that? It really is a metaphor for the entire government. <laughs> like, it re- really is. How it operates. This you is how they. Simple, this, yeah. this is how politicians operate. They can't just say, "I'm sorry, I was, I got caught up in hating Jimmy Dore." And I'm not above getting caught up in hating someone. Uh. <laughs> In politics, there's an expression, the cover-up is always worse than the crime. Here's another one. Grimm seems to have a bottomless tolerance for humiliating himself. And I just, again, 
there's not I'm sure he's probably into humiliation sex, which there's not there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. He likes to be humiliated. It gives him uh you know, helps him come. You think he says, Give me the haircut I deserve. <laughs> 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 He's got his hair shitty until he comes. A lot of powerful men like to be humiliated by uh, dominatrix and things like that. No, 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 no shame in it unless the shame gets you off. Then that's good. But it does seem like he's a, he, what's what's that? I need the shame to get off that, from. Yeah, it. I think that's it. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he's in the shame and uh, humiliation. Which again, no judgment. Uh, wow, he's still at it. Unforced error. It would have been so easy to just be like, I got tricked. I was gullible. I fucked up. My bad. There's more. You think I, you, think, you don't think there's more? He then tweeted this out. I don't know if you could see it. So I'll read it to you. He said, I just went to DM Jimmy. And remembered that while he was telling his audience I was scared of him, he ignored my response at the time that I'd answer any questions he had on his show. If you watch his show, he has nothing but contempt for you. And, it, and this is a DM that he sent. Uh, uh, oh, I remember when he did that? Uh, he did a tongue bath for the Democrats in some article. And so I had said, that, anyway, this is getting too into the weeds. But he said I didn't respond to him, that I was too scared of him. No, he sent me this DM saying, hey, I'll come on your show and answer any questions you want. And then he blocked me. <laughs> so I couldn't respond to him. <laughs> he had me blocked up until just five seconds ago. And that's where we came up with hashtag grim job. Because he would tweet at me from behind a block, and I would call that a grim job. What, what, uh, what kind of a scared little weasel blocks a guy and then tweets about him? Ryan Grimm. And that's why I couldn't ask him on a show. Ryan Grimm is more than welcome to come on my show anytime. It would be so much fun. I'll give him three hours. I'll give him a Joe Rogan. I'll give, you want it? You want a Joe Rogan? You want to, you want to be my Sanjay Gupta? You want to be my Sanjay Gupta? Come on. Come on. Come on and humiliate the pothead, dumb, dumb comedian who's a C-minus student. Go show the world how smart you are, Ryan Grimm, D.C. Bureau Chief of The Intercept, who got his ass handed to him every time he tries to come at me. Are, are you saying he's going to walk out uh, confrontational and exit buying your merch? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, you're welcome on the show. You're on the show. Oh, and so then I had to tweet it out. I go, another lie. The reason I wasn't able to invite him was because he tweeted me. You're welcome anytime. But when you were asked to come on my show by other podcasters, you said you were afraid. I remember that. Do you? You remember that, right, Steph? Uh, I remember that. You're that cause they're, he's on a show and these podcasters go, they go, well, hey, I'm sure Jimmy would love, you'd love to go on his show and talk this out. And he goes, no, not no, and I don't think so. <laughs> That's weirdly honest. And then those guys right. took that video down. That video is not up anymore. Why? Uh, because they got embarrassed. And uh, Here's another one. Worse than useless, a key player in helping run, uh, run out the clock against Bernie by pretending that Warren was staying in the race to delegate pool with Bernie. Yes, so he was also doing that, as Jenk Uger was doing that too for Elizabeth Warren. Remember, he's trying to pretend, who are we going to endorse, Elizabeth Warren or Bernie? Ryan Grimm was, I guess, apparently doing that, too. I didn't follow his stuff that closely, but according to this person, he says, worse than useless, a key player in helping run out the clock against Bernie by pretending that Warren was staying in the race to delegate pool with Bernie. Right up until Super Tuesday, she gave him a lot of access over the years. He defended her not running and endorsing in 2016. That's Ryan Grimm. That's who he is. He at least um, acknowledged it was crap about saying Bernie said a woman can't, you know, all that nonsense. Did he acknowledge that? Yeah. Look at that. Good for him. I'm, I, no, no, I don't know. I'm asking if he did. I, oh, I don't know. I oh, I don't know. I hope he did. Uh, and then this person says, so again, he wants to know why I'm angry at David Sirota, blah, blah, this and that. So this person has it perfect. Central to the shitlib case is how the New Deal came out of the system. 
It came from ceaseless demands and agitation from militant activism, from unions and socialists and communists. If they were honest actors, they'd welcome pressure. The louder and more unreasonable, the better. They don't. Because left is a pose for so many, and that's what it is for Ryan Grimm. Being on the left is a pose. It's interesting how the most supposedly problematic leftists rarely say left. They talk more about class specifically, while shit libs endlessly yam around about the left. Never out left a leftist. They'll never forget you. That's what's happened. So that's why I get so much ire, because I'm to the left of those people. I'm to the left of TYT and MSNBC contract and D Ryan Grimm and David Sirota. And all those haters. I'm to the left of them. That's why. That, and the first line of attack when someone gets to your left is you discredit and smear them. And then, you, and then, then only then, you can engage their idea, but they never, almost never do. So, uh, this was my favorite. Ryan Grimm is reverse Viagra. That was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but remember when he Did tweeted this out, he thought I would be embarrassed of this, Kurt? He says the funniest part is Jimmy claims to be a comedian, but this is the kind of bit he can come up with. Ha ha. Well, watch. Let's watch. If you ever wondered, could someone be so boring that my cock actually falls off? <laughs> yes. Watch that. Watch when he comes on rising. You'll be like, oh, my God, what happened to your cock, honey? I was watching Ryan Grimm on rising and my cock literally got bored off. <laughs> so he thought that that would be embarrassing to me. <laughs> He's boring all our cocks off. Yeah. I like that he put a period after each ha. Yes, <laughs> ha. That's ha. that's his that's his <laughs> he comedy. <did> boring. <laughs> that's he, a boring way. <laughs> he even said ha ha in a boring way. Could you show it? Ha. Period. Ha. Ha. Should ha. Ryan run these jokes by his roommate Ernie before he tweets it out? <laughs> he should run it by somebody. Uh, he didn't stop. Another tweet. No. Yes. About me. Correct the record, Jimmy Dore. You say you knew he was joking. I believe you if you say so. But what was his joke and why did it make you so angry? Now Grimm is making a horribly pathetic attempt to scrape the poo off his own shoe by trying to drag Jimmy Dore into his swamp by demanding Dore tap dance for him. It would have been so much easier if he hadn't attempted his Grimm job in the first place. When will he take the L? So anyway, there you go. That was fun. It's always fun to engage with Ryan Grimm, friend of the show. And he's welcome on any time. And again, we could do a three-hour one, whatever. Um, if it turns out that living in environmental and U.S. empire end times is Ryan Grimm, like his submerged subconscious personality is schizophrenic. Uh, I get, what is this? You know, Grimm is like John Favreau calling the girl. Oh, yes, he's like John Favreau who keeps calling the girls' machine and in, in, in Swingers. You remember? That? She would, I don't remember that. Oh, that was so painful. He kept calling. He that's when people had answering machines. Anyway, oh, wow, I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh. So Ryan Grimm, at least he's out there asking the tough questions. Did a comedian get the joke? That's <laughs> that's the important questions that Ryan Grimm is focusing on this week. Did a comedian actually get the joke? I'm Ryan Grimm. Here we're doing stand-up comedy in Los Angeles on June 11th, and then we're going to Chicago, Sacramento, and San Diego on July 16th for the taping of my new special. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all tickets. See you there.